Hi, and welcome to the new episode of the Home Assistant running on Synology with Bearded Thinker. Today we are going to install Mosquito MQTT. Let us dive straight into it. We will connect to the uh, terminal server, log in, and let us change right into the volume where we have to create new folders. Okay, so as we are going to install Mosquito, uh, it's also called MQTT. Uh, we will name this folder mqtt make directory mqtt now we will change uh, now we will go inside this directory we change directory and here we will create three additional folders first folder will be called log second folder will be called config and third folder will be called data Okay, you all know what's next. We have to type a very long command. sudo super user do docker run. We will give it a name and we will call it mqtt. It's shorter for the mosquito. We will define that we want this uh, service to restart always. Uh, next we will define network define network as host so we will be uh, once again using a Synology IP address so we can access this MQTT uh, again I will type a port default ports is 1883 so we are defining external and internal mapping for the ports 1883 Next, I will define second port. This is port 9001 and we will map it to the internal port 9001. This is, I think, for the Mosquito webhooks. And now we have to define three folders that we have created previously. First folder will be uh, volume, doc, volume 1 docker mqtt config. We will map it with the mqtt config in read only okay next we will define uh, and map uh, internal uh, a log folder with the folder we just created for the logs it's volume one docker mqtt log and map it with the mqtt log folder and the third folder we are creating or mapping is uh, again volume 1 docker mqtt um, data with the internal mqtt data folder we have to type tid uh, this uh, once again the last d command is starting it as a, a daemon or detached mode meaning that we will be running this as a service meaning that there, we will, there will be no uh, output from this system on on terminal it will just go into the log files and if we close the terminal the, uh, the docker will still be running and the last part we have to type is the name of the uh, docker hub image we want to use for the last couple of months i'm using eclipse so it h c l i p s e mosquito and hopefully if we type everything correct we can now press enter and after we are asked or, or if we are asked for the password um, docker will go to the hub search for the image download install it and start the container okay and as you can see everything is downloaded uh, everything should be up and running um, you can see the warning here that published ports are discarded because we are using host network mode but 
as I said, you can avoid typing those commands. I just like to type them so it, 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 it also gives me a reminder of what ports are used on my machine or not. Let us now go into the portainer to check if everything is okay or not. And as you can see, we already have six containers running, zero are stopped. This is, this is great. You always want to keep them all green and uh, uh, have the red hearts at zero. Uh, let us check the images. We have Eclipse Mosquito Ladies downloaded. As you can see, since the last video I made with the Grafana, we already had two Grafana updates. I will just delete those images. And we also had, since the, uh, I think, last or, or the first uh, Portainer video, uh, three uh, updates of the Home Assistant. I will also remove those. Okay, let's go into the container. Let's click here to see logs. Hopefully, yeah, everything is okay. It's up and running and it's listening on port 1883. What we have done here now is we have installed Mosquito. It is listening on the default port, but everything else is still not configured. So next thing we have to do, we have to go back into the Synology. And in Synology, we have to type in something in the commands. Let's open a configuration file. And here we have to define Mosquito component. I prepared it earlier and I will copy it. Also, I will include this in the uh, description of the video. But more or less, it is almost as we did before. You have to first define component and this component is, of course, called MQTT. Then you have to define uh, what is the IP address, what is the port, uh, how this cl client will be identified and other uh, home assistant related components. So, Let's just remove this and I will just paste what I prepared earlier. So here we are saying we want to use Mosquito component, MQTT broker. Here will be our uh, URL or I, our IP address. Port, it's not necessary since we are using it, um, since we are using default port, but it's good practice to define it nevertheless. So we'll put here our port. Client ID, um, this is maybe good practice to put it allows you to uh, in log see how this uh, uh, component is talking with the uh, MQTT and also in the log files of MQTT you will be seeing that this client has connected or not so since this is home assistant I named it home assistant so um, discovery prefix is uh, just telling us what we want home assistant to subscribe to what uh, uh, part of the MQTT traffic and to receive all the information from that uh, subscribed uh, traffic. Next thing we have to do, we have to open secrets file and in secrets file now we will define also MQTT. Let me name it and I will also copy uh, information I have prepared earlier. Uh, this is just a couple of, a couple of uh, uh, entities. One is uh, URL and the other one is port. And this should be pretty much it. At this point, MQTT is configured, up and running. And also we have prepared everything in our home assistant for it to be able to connect to the MQTT. Let us now go back into the uh, Home Assistant. We'll go to Configuration, Server Control, check Configuration. Everything is okay and we will now restart server. It shouldn't take too long for the server to restart. And our server is back. We see uh, one notification. I think those are discovered. Yeah, new discovered devices. We will dismiss it. Let's go into the developer tools, into the logs and see if we have any problem here. Uh, these are all messages. No, it's nothing here. Okay. So if we go back to the a portainer and check log there. I hope we will see their uh, information 
yes, we can see we already have a new connection from our Synology server and new client is connected from this address as Home Assistant. And that's it, we have MQTT up and running. Thank you for watching another episode of the Home Assistant on Synology by Barry Thinker. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and it was helpful to you. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't subscribed, hit the bell button so you get notified and press a like. I hope I'll be seeing you next time. Till then, bye bye and have fun.